My name is Meredith and I'm the GoPro mom and I'm gonna show you the different ways that you could export your videos from GoPro Studio depending on what exactly you wanna do with them, whether you're gonna upload them to YouTube or Facebook or whatever. So um, hop on over to the computer with me. So we have gone through the process of creating a home movie from beginning to end in GoPro Studio in parts one, two, three, four, and five of this series and getting started with GoPro Studio. This week is number six. This is the last in the series, and we're going to talk about exporting that movie so that you can use it wherever you want, whenever you want, and however you want. So if you want to review all of the other parts of the series, head on over to gopromom.com slash gopro dash studio, and I will have all of the parts of the series on that page, parts one through six. So if you want to review the previous parts of the series or you just didn't catch them, you can head on over there and find them waiting for you. And today we're going to talk about exporting your movie. I have my movie here. Um... Really, I have I have it pretty much done. I don't think there's anything more. I've added titles, transitions, music. I had some slow motion that I added. I, I think we're good, and I think we're going to, I'm just going to export it the way it is. So we're going to come on over here to step number three, export. And um, you can choose where on your computer you want to save it to you can choose you know your file name Hershey Park day um, and then it's going to tell you down here um, how long it is I've got five minutes and 21 seconds and um, I have a file size of about 662 megabytes which is basically half of a gig that's kind of a lot um but we can save it in some different formats here. I like to save mine in HD 1080p. Um, you can do 720 and you know that that's totally fine. I would recommend doing you know one uh, one or the other of those. Um, especially if you know if this is a home movie and it's you know you you made it so that you can keep it forever you know or at least for a very long time and you want it to look great and you want to show it to other people and you know you spent all this time on it you should really export it in a way that you know is going to show it off you know as best as possible so I save all of my videos in HD 1080p and we want to make sure since we did apply flux to a couple of our slow motion areas that I showed you in part five of this series last week, we wanna make sure that that box is checked there because otherwise it's not gonna do what it's supposed to do. And it warns you that the export time will take a little bit longer than usual. And I went over that last week and that's just because it has to do a lot more work. It's like it's using a little more brain power to make the flux do what the flux does um, in the exported movie. So not a big deal. Just make sure that that box is checked if you did apply flux um, to your slow motion. And then you're just going to hit export. So of course, depending on how long your movie is, um, might take a little while. A five minute long movie, you know, it's not it's not gonna be super fast um, to export. But once it's done, your file will just be on your computer wherever you had saved it to. And then you can upload it to YouTube, Facebook, save it, you know, on your computer, save it in Dropbox, archive it on your external hard drive. You created it for people to see, so, you know, get it out there. But make sure that you do save it somewhere so that it exists in the future. Otherwise, you know, what What the heck is the point of making home movies if we don't, you know, do anything with them so that people can watch them? So I hope this series and getting started with GoPro Studio was helpful to you in some way. It's not really a deep dive into, um, you know, creating... Um, feature films or anything like that. It's really meant to just be getting started and an intro into GoPro Studio so that you can create some home movies 
with the footage that you have shot on your GoPro. Um, it makes they make, they make it really easy, and they've designed it to be pretty quick and easy, and you know in some cases pretty quick and dirty. But it it does its job really well and really quickly. And if you're not really sure what you're doing with editing videos, then it's a really great place to start. So if you create something with GoPro Studio because of something that you learned in the series, please let me know. Show me your video, send me a link to your YouTube or something. You can message me on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash GoPro Mom, and um, message me on Twitter, which is, of course, GoPro Mom, or Instagram, GoPro Mom. So uh, let me know what you do with your videos. I would really love to see them, and I, and I would really love to know that this series was helpful to you. If you want to learn more about creating home movies like this, whether you're using a GoPro or an iPhone or whatever you got, um, hop on over to gopromom.com, give me your email address. I will email you every week with more tips and tricks like this. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.